Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to your science lesson for today. All right, you're with me, Mr. Thomas. And if you are ready, I would like you to sit back, relax, and watch this video. Okay, selamat datang ke kelas sains kita hari ini. Uh, sekiranya sudah bersedia, bolehlah dengar betul-betul dan ambil perhatian, ya? All right. Today, we are going to do a little bit of revision. Kita akan buat sedikit ulang kaji. On plants. Plants. So what are plants in Bahasa Melayu? Plants refers to tumbuhan. Alright, plants. So plants are very important. Tumbuhan sangat penting. Okay, they are important because number one, it is for habitat. Pokok-pokok di adalah tempat tinggal. Okay. Tempat tinggal eh. Pokok-pokok. Tempat tinggal untuk siapa? For the monkeys. It can be a habitat for tigers. It can be a habitat for squirrels. Ha, tupai. Tupai kan hidup dalam pokok. Rumah dia. Ha, so... Tumbuhan, pokok, semua ni sangat penting kepada haiwan untuk rumah ataupun tempat tinggal mereka. Plants are also important as they are food, makanan. Okay, for example, giraffe. Giraffes, they eat leaves. Um, rabbits, they eat carrot. Humans, manusia, kita makan sayur, vegetables. And we also eat fruits, buah-buahan. Okay, jadi nampak tak pokok ni ataupun tumbuh-tumbuhan, mereka banyak kepentingan kepada semua benda hidup. Okay, the next one. Plants are also important as medicines, ubat. Okay. Uh, traditional medicines, ubat-ubat tradisional, iaitu ubat-ubat lama. Uh, datuk-datuk, nenek-nenek kita dulu mana ada Panadol, mana ada ubat batuk. Uh, jadi, kalau mereka demam, mereka ambil herba-herba. Mereka jumpa di gunung ke, di hutan ke, mereka ambil. Lepas tu, uh, buat uh, ubat sendiri. Sebab tu, tumbuhan sangat penting. Sebab mereka boleh dijadikan ubat. Medicine. Alright? And one more importance of uh, plants is that it provides us with air to breathe. Okay, tumbuh-tumbuhan bagi kita udara. Udara segar. Okay, fresh air. Bila kita ambil, uh, apa tu, serap udara. Hmm. Ha, ambil naf, tarik nafas tu ha, Kita rasa macam Wah, segarnya Wow, so fresh So good ha, Macam tu Tapi kalau tak ada tumbuhan Tak adalah Okay If you remember Kalau ingat lagi Dalam tahun satu Kita pernah belajar uh, Tumbuh-tumbuhan ni Mereka bagi kita Oksigen Eh, eh, eh This is bahasa Melayu Oksigen Okay Apa yang kita Kita ambil tu Udara tu eh, uh, Udara mengandungi Oksigen. The oksigen tu datang daripada pokok. Sebab tu, orang selalu kata, we have to plant more trees. Kita perlu tanam lebih banyak pokok. Apabila kita tanam banyak pokok, banyak oksigen. Bila banyak oksigen, udara yang kita hirup tu, uh, kita guna tu, pun akan menjadi lebih segar. Bagus untuk kita. Alright? So, you can, kat, sekarang kat rumah kan, you can go and plant. Pergilah tanam apa-apa pun. Tanam bawang, tanam pokok pokok mangga, pokok pa, pokok pisang. Ha, apa yang ada biji-biji tu, tanam je. Lepas tu, pokok tumbuh, kamu pun rasa selis astronaut. Sebab ada benda hidup yang kamu tanam. Kan? Okay? So, just to go through one more time. Remember, plants are important as they are habitats, food, medicine, and also they give us air to breathe. Understand? Alright, now, I would like to bring you next to the next part. Seeds. Ingat tak apa tu seeds? Mestilah ingat kan? E, uh, seeds refer to 
biji yuk biji benih oke okay. biji benih so how will seeds germinate how do seeds germinate apa maksud ni soalan ni soalan ni bermaksud macam mana biji benih tumbuh Okay, macam mana dia tumbuh? Apa yang mereka perlukan? The first thing they need is water. Okay, they need water. The next one, they need suitable temperature. They also need air. And they also need sunlight. Okay. What is water? Water is air. What is suitable temperature? Suitable temperature is suhu yang sesuai. What is air? Air is udara. Sunlight is cahaya. Matahari Okay If the seeds don't have all these They cannot germinate Kalau biji benih tak ada semua ini Mereka tak akan dapat tumbuh Understand? Very good Now, let's now go to Plants Tadi kita dah belajar tentang biji benih kan. Sekarang ni kita belajar pasal plants pula. Tumbuhan dia. Plants. Iaitu tumbuhan. Apa yang tumbuhan perlukan untuk kekal hidup ataupun segar? What do they need? They need, sama juga, they need water, air, and sunlight. And also, sama juga, they also need suitable temperature. Tak boleh panas sangat, tak boleh sejuk sangat. Okay, dia bergantung kepada jenis tumbuhan lah. Okay, for example, strawberry. Strawberry, dia tak boleh panas, dia kena sejuk. Ha. Cactus, dia tak boleh sejuk, dia kena panas. Okay, dia lain pokok, lain keadaan dia. Understand? Okay, now, if you remember the stages of growth. Stages of growth refers to um, langkah-langkah. It's not langkah-langkah, eh. Peringkat-peringkat, eh. Langkah-langkah ataupun peringkat lah. Itu besaran. Pokok. Okay, so what do we start with? We start with the seeds. Biji benih. Betul tak? After the seeds, kita dah tanam biji benih tu, it will germinate. Iaitu tumbuh. Biji benih akan tumbuh akar dululah. Germany, sorry, shun of seeds. All right. The next one, after the seeds already germinate, then the plant will grow. Pokok akan mula tumbuh lah. Ada dahan dia pendek-pendek, makin besar, makin besar. Kita kena bagi dia air, bawa dia sihat. After already grow, the young plant is already there. The next one would be Flowers. Lepas dah ada pokok, baru ada bunga. Alright. Only after you have the flowers, akan tumbuh buah. Okay. Kalau tak ada bunga, tak ada buah. Understand? So, the stages of growth for a plant, number one, 
seeds. Number two, germination of seeds. Number three, the young plant. Number four, produce flowers. And only after you have the flowers, you have the fruits. Hanya selepas ada flower, baru ada fruits. Understand? Okay. Now, this is your work for today. Latihan. Take out your exercise book, everyone. Everyone, please take out your exercise book. And take out your pencil also. Exercise book, pencil, semua-semua tu lah. Rubber. The day today is Tuesday. Right now. And the date is 5th October 2021. Done. Okay, take out your ruler also. Eh? Make sure you have your ruler. Nampak tak atas ni tadi? Kita ada seeds, germination of seeds, young plant, produce flowers, and then produce fruits. Alright, so now, I want you to draw. Lukis. Tulis dulu, number one. Lukis dah garis lurus. Cikgu tak pandai lukis garis lurus ni. Tak dapat lukis garis lurus. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Okay. Let me draw another box here. Kalau masih ada ruang, sambung je muka surat sama. Macam cikgu dah habis, cikgu pergilah ke muka surat sebelah. Kalau masih muat, sambung je muka surat yang sama eh. Alright. So, what do you need to do here? Eh, jangan ni, jangan lukis macam cikgu tau. Guna pembaris, bagi dia lurus. <laughs> Alright. So, what you have to do? Apa yang kamu perlu buat? Dengar eh, cikgu bagi contoh number one. What is number one just now? What is this, boys and girls? What is this? Seeds Biji benar Jadi isilah tempat kosong sini Seeds So what is seeds? Biji benar So you need to draw Pictures of Biji benar Understand? Another example Next one lah Cikgu contoh bagi nombor 2 juga What is number 2? Germination of Seeds Jadi germination of seeds tu macam mana? Bila dia dah tumbuh akar sikit betul tak? So, over here you write germination of seeds. Sebut germination of seeds. Ah, So, you draw the seed. Lepas tu, uh, lukislah akar dia keluar sikit macam ni. Don't use red pen ha. Jangan guna pen merah ha. Guna guna pencil. Ni cikgu contoh, contoh je. Okay. Ha, tu tunjuk akar dah. Then the next one. Number three. Young plant. Number four. Produce flowers. And number five. Produce fruits. Isi kotak-kotak ni. Dengan apa langkah-langkah dia. And then over here you draw. 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 Lukis. Alright. Senang je kan kerja hari ni. Lukis saja. Alright, make sure you use ruler ah. Use your ruler, use your pencil. Pastikan cantik. Lukisan tu tak cantik tak apa. Sebab kita bukan nak tengok lukisan. Cikgu nak tengok kamu faham ke tak? Okay. Ingat, yang plan tu apa? Dahan nak tumbuh sikit kan? And then produce flowers. And then produce fruits. Lukis sendiri. Di sini. Alright. So, when you are done, I want you to take a photo. 
Bila sudah siap semua ni, isi 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Boleh ambil gambar dan hentak kepada cikgu untuk disemak. Okay? When you are done, please take a photo and submit to me and I will check. Alright, boys and girls. Kalau ada soalan, boleh PM cikgu. Cikgu akan tolong jawab. If you have any question, tak faham ke, apa-apa ke, you can ask me. Okay, send me a message via WhatsApp and I will um, reply you. Alright, that is all for today's class, boys and girls. I hope you understand and I hope you can still remember about plants. Okay, cikgu harap masih ingat lah tentang tumbuhan. Okay, so till next time, take care, stay safe and bye-bye.